Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Project 3 in the Adreno Project Book. This is a level meter just in time for Valentine's Day. For this project, we'll be using three red LEDs, three 220 ohm resistors, and a temperature sensor. So the schematics of this project are very similar to the schematics of our last project. The only difference is that we are going to be utilizing an analog input in this project, and we will also be using the serial monitor to see what's going on. So for this project, I made an interface using the back of my spaceship interface template. This made it easy to implement and took very little time. So I'll start how I always start out, by hooking up my power bus to my power source and the ground. As you can see, my spaceship interface is still hooked up, so let me undo that so we can have a clear board. For our temperature sensor, we're going to use one of the analog pins on the side of the board here. I'm going to use A0 for this. This will hook up to the middle pin of our temperature sensor. So this is our temperature sensor. As you can see, it has one flat side and one rounded side. You're going to put the flat side towards the board and the rounded side away. This way all of our pins will be in the right order. So the orange jump wire is connected to our power source, and then the yellow jump wire is connected to our ground. Then the green wire is connected to our analog pin. Now I'm just going to hook up the LEDs. So our 220 ohm resistors are going to connect to the cathodes of our LEDs, connecting them to the ground. Then the anodes are going to be connected to the digital pins. As you can see here, I wasn't happy with how the interface was fitting on it, so I just moved everything over and attached some jump wires over that ridge so that everything would remain connected. Perfect. I'm done with the hookup and I'm happy with it. So now let's take a look at our code. So you can see here that I assigned sensor pin to analog pin 0, and then I also created a baseline temp of 20. So here we have some setup code for serial output for the monitor and the IDE. It's going to communicate 9600 bits per second. And then we also have a for loop, which is assigning our values to our pins so that they are valued as an output pin and they start off as being low, which is in the off mode. For our loop, we're going to add some serial print lines that will print into the serial monitor of our IDE so we can see what volts and degrees in Celsius the sensor is giving off. And then we are also going to assign how our lights are going to light up depending on what that temperature is. 
But as you can see at the bottom, the output for their monitor is just printing out in one big long line. So I'm going to change this by putting print ln instead of just print in our code at the top and I'm going to get it to where I can read it and it seems sensible to me. As you can see, I kind of messed around with it a little bit until it looked appropriate and readable. So my first test of the code, uh, I was having some issues. So I checked all my connections and I was trying to troubleshoot to see what was going on. Um, what it ended up being was that my highs and lows for my pins were kind of backwards because of how I set up my board. So I did fix that eventually. As you can see here, my code's a little bit different from the code in the book. I just had to change some of my lows to highs and my highs to lows, just so that it made sense for my board and how it was rigged up. And this is just kind of an example of how it was hooked up wrong, because all the lights are on and none of them should be on. But if I put my finger on it, it makes one of them go off, which means that that one is reading that, oh, it's getting warmer, so I'm going to turn this one off. So it's just a little bit backwards. And here is where I fixed the code. And when I put my finger on, it starts lighting up the board. So again, if you're following me exactly, the code should be looking something more like this than what's in the book. And here's the completed project. As you can see, when I put my finger on it and try to get it warmer, it warms up all the way and it goes down when I take it off. So that's it for the Levometer project. For our next project, we'll be doing the color mixing lamp is project number four in the book and this project uses analog output and mapping values.